Hi, hello, namaskara, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see some iconic idli places in Bangalore. When I say iconic, the places which have stood the test of time. We have picked the places which are there for several years and also maintaining the taste and consistency till date. And also they have a ardent fan following and a good patronage. Another specialty of these places is they are mostly family run and also they don't have any branches. They are a single unit or a single outlet. They, they didn't franchise it out or they didn't expand. That way they are maintaining the consistency and they are good at doing what they are doing. So that's why we chose these places. Join us in this interesting, iconic Idli in Bangalore series. It would be apt to start this iconic idli places in Bangalore with Brahmin's Coffee Bar. So we are at Brahmin's Coffee Bar, which started in 1960s. They are selling only few dishes, mainly idli and karabat and vade, and they are very good at it. Most of the places we are covering, they have only idli and chutney. Here also, idli and chutney, no sambar. Let's dig in. The idli is spongy and it's made of idli rava. That's why you are getting that grittiness with each bite of this idli. The chutney is super fresh. Coriander and curry leaves, they add extra flavor and fragrance to this chutney. Super fresh. Idli and chutney together. Now this vadai. When you touch the vadai, you will know how good it is. And the crispiness also will come to know by touching the vade. I am getting the same here. Super crispy. It is airy. It is puffy. It is soft. Fantastic vade. Fell in love with this idli vade combination. When we cover Idli, how can I miss MTR? At MTR, I am not going to try the conventional Idli, but Rava Idli. Why? Because MTR invented Rava Idli, so I wanted to cover Rava Idli and also include it as part of this iconic Idli series. I've got one Rava Idli with one small bowl of ghee, then I have sagu and also a small bowl of chutney. I always used to wonder why they give the small bowl of ghee, but that small amount of ghee enhances the flavor and taste of the rava idli by several notches. It's really good. The grainy idli combined with this cashew nut and also the finely chopped coriander, it's phenomenal. Now I'll test this rava idli with the sahu, sahu by itself. You can have the sagu on its own, such a tasty sagu. It has this right amount of spice level and also mild sweetness. And the flavor of asafoetida and tamarind, that dominates. Now chutney. Fresh kai chutney and it also is mild. It's not overly spicy. Let me try all this together. It's simply mind-blowing, a mind-blowing idli or rava idli experience.
Our next spot is SLV Banshankri. This is also a very popular idli joint, which is there for the last several decades. Let me start with this idli. This idli is also made of idli rava. The idli is grainy. The chutney is having that spice hit. It's somewhat spicy. I think the green chilli is doing the trick and it's so fresh. And this is also a kai chutney made of coconut, green chilies, pudina, coriander leaves. The idli is velvety and also the chutney goes very well and gives you the required pungent hit or the kick that you would require in an idli chutney combination. Amazing. This what I let me see how it tastes. It's good. It's a bit salty. You get the biscuity crunch and also it crumbles in your mouth. This is not oily. That's one good thing I appreciate about this vade. More the bites you have of this vade, you get more of that pepper flavor. I love this pepper flavor. This chutney with that sauce, sweetness from coconut that elevates the Sakni experience and also the Italy experience. Our next idli spot is a special place and this place serves Tate Idli. Though there are some places outside Bangalore, especially in Bedadi, they are serving Tate Idli for decades. But this one is there at least for the last three decades. This is the oldest Tate Idli place in Bangalore. Earlier they were in Domlur, in near Old Airport Road. Now they have moved to Maleshwaram. So let me taste the idli by its own. This is the real idli. In other places, either they add idli rava or making soda. It's fluffy and soft, but you don't get the original idli feel. But here, I get that actual idli feel. They have given two chutneys, and unlike other places, here you get that kempu chutney or the red chutney. That itself looks so attractive. Let me savor this idli with this kempu chutney. In South Tamil Nadu region, especially uh, near Kanyakumari or Nagarkoil, you get this type of chutney made with red chilies. The same taste and feel I am getting. So lovely, so wonderful. This is an excellent accompaniment for this idli. The idli absorbs all the chutney and the idli is soaked with this red kara chutney and it's spicy too. Wonderful. Now let's see how this regular chutney is, white chutney or kai chutney is. Mm. This is made with coconut and uh, garlic, but I am getting slightly excess brininess. Uh, extra salt they have added, but it's okay. It goes well with the idli, but I would just have this idli with that red chutney. It's so amazing and so wonderful. Among all the idli places we have visited so far, this is one of the best, I would say. You get the authentic idli experience here. The next iconic place is Vena Stores. When I think about having idli at Vena store, it gives so much of excitement. Every time when I visit here, I come and have an idli and vada and go with full satisfaction. Today also I have got just the idli and vada. Let me taste the idli. Oh man! The moment I had a bit of this idli, it melts in the mouth. I didn't expect, I thought I had to swallow or chew a bit, but it completely melts. L literally, it melts in the mouth. The 
चटनी इज ऑल्सो सो स्पाइसी द ग्रीन चिल्ली एंड पुदीना एवरीथिंग इज गिविंग अ फ्लेवर पंच एंड इट्स अ रियली स्पाइसी एंड हॉट चटनी दैट गोस वेरी वेल विद दिस सॉफ्ट एंड स्पॉन्जी इडली इडली एक्सपीरियंस मस्ट बी लाइक दिस दिस इज द एपिटोमी ऑफ इडली एक्सपीरियंस नेक्स्ट अप इज वडे वडे इज ऑल्सो compared to the other places like gramins coffee bar this is somewhat smaller in size it's not very small but the one we got in gramins was humongous or enormous but this one is compared to that it is smaller in size but it's very crispy and i am touching the vada itself i can feel the crispiness and what i am going to get with each bite goodness overload such a crispy and crunchy vada there is a mild saltiness or the brininess to this vada that makes it more likable i think that's the thing that pulls people towards vada and this vada is perfectly done it has drunk some oil but it is a fantastic vada the idli vada combination at vinastos it is unparalleled you must try this Next up is SSP refreshment where you will get Akre idli or Akre idli. Let me show this idli. This is done on a plate. It's not the regular idli vessel where they cook it. Instead, it's a plate where they have poured this idli batter and then they steam it. And this is the way traditionally they used to make it. The idli vessel and the idli plates, whatever commercially we are using, it came from Chennai. after the people from udp migrated to chennai and they started this idli vessel and commercial idli culture but prior to that we had this either the tatta idli or this type of idli or this uh, chiblu idli where you steam idli in a bamboo uh, basket so those are the conventional ways of doing idli but i am happy that we have come to this place where we can taste this conventional or traditional way of preparing idli we'll taste that it's silky soft mm. it's like sponge so uh, if you have some sambar it will absorb or it will be soaked in that sambar that that kind of porous spongy idli now with this chutney mm it's super spicy in the moment you have a bit of the chutney on your palate so your tongue will be filled with that panjan hit from this chili amazingly spicy mm. this vadai the moment you have a bite of this vadai immediately you get the pepper kernels and coconut i won't say it's super crispy but still it's a delectable what i experience mm. so with which bite you got that crunch either from the pepper kernel or from the coconut flakes of coconut overall this is the only idli so far where you don't have that idli rava in it in all other places wherever we had idli it is udin bele or urad dal or black ram and this idli rava uh, the granules of uh, idli rice they add but here in this idli it is the idli rice which is finely ground and then mixed with this varad dal batter and so it is silky smooth you don't get that grainy texture in this idli a thoroughly enjoyable idli experience next deadly spot we have come is raghavendra stores raghavendra stores is there in maleshwaram bangalore for the last 40 years uh, the last four decades now let's see how the idli experience is at raghavendra stores it's uh, idli rava based idli 
and you get that sourness when you have a bite of this idli because I think it's fermented for more than eight hours. That's why you'll get that mild sourness. Now let's taste this idli along with chutney. The chutney is super spicy. When the idli alone tasted very tame and mild or mellow, now with this chutney, it has gone to a different level. With this idli, you taste more of that grainy texture, the rava-like texture that dominates. Mm. This one also disintegrates and disappears because it's very thin in texture and immediately it melts in your mouth. Good deadly. Let's check how the vada is. There is something special about this vada. The uh, crust is very crisp. At the same time, when you break, it comes like a cake. This is a dense vada. It doesn't have any air packets in it. At the same time, you could taste the flavor of udin bele or this black rum. It's fabulous. More than Italy here, the vada experience is fantastic. So I like the vada at Raghavendra shows than any other places we have visited so far. Overall, a nice Italy and vada experience. It's good. Our next idli spot is a very very interesting place. This is the way how idlis were made 56 years ago before the industrial way of making idli was invented. Now I am so much excited because I am going to taste this conventional chiblu idli. The bamboo basket is called chiblu. Now this was not popular in Bangalore few years ago. I would say in the last 3-4 years this became popular. Otherwise, uh, Chiblu Idli was not very popular in the restaurant space. Now, few places, uh, that too, the street side courts, uh, they are selling this Chiblu Idli. I have come to a place in Nandini layout which sells this Chiblu Idli. So, let's taste this Chiblu Idli and see how it is. The size of the Idli is somewhat big and uh, somewhat it is dense also. But, and holding it, you can see it is airy and fluffy. It's silky soft and velvety let me start with this red chutney oh. it's a melt in the mouth kind of idli mm. it is amazing this is how the idli should be this is another place where i am getting the exact idli feel or the idli experience now the red chutney is very spicy Mm. It, it has more of the flavor from curry leaf. This chutney along with this chiblu idli is simple but splendid. Mm. Now let's check out the green chutney, the conventional koi or coconut chutney. Both are equally good. Among all the other places we visited, this is one of the places where the, the chutney is equally good as the idli. Among the other idlis also, this is one of the finest idlis and the idli everyone would love. That kind of fantabulous idli. It is so fresh, they prepare in front of your eyes and it is so good also. Now the vadai, again they give a very small tiny vadai, putani vadai. I got both masala vadai as well as this udin vadai or this medu vadai. When I touch it, it, I feel the crispiness. It's a very good vadai. Immediately I got the flavor of ginger in it. In very rarely people add ginger to this medu vadai. Here they have added it and it is tasting too good. Masala vadai. Wow, 
So good. Crispiness guaranteed in each bite. It's crispiness overload, I would say. That was an extensive idli tour in Bangalore. So we covered only the most iconic places. When I said iconic, it's just not by the number of years they are in Bangalore. But it's also about how much they focus on idli and how much tastier the idli is. So all these places have a very good patronage and uh, also they consistently do this one thing, idli, as good as possible. Hope you enjoyed this idli episode. We'll come up with more of such interesting episodes. Thank you very much for staying with me all this while. Till I come up with another interesting one. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe. Do subscribe. I would love your comments. Leave your comments below. Till I come up with the next one. Bye.